Hello, Libra. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 14th of May. Venus, your ruler, continues its journey through your sister air sign of Gemini, a very vivacious and free-spirited part of your scope, which gives you the opportunity to talk to other people, be more open to new stimuli. However, the new moon this week is in the intense, passionate eighth house, but it is feeding into Venus. So if you're single, don't be surprised if you're traveling somewhere that you have some kind of magnetic spark with someone, even if it's through conversation, which you find really stimulating. And it may, if you're truly lucky, even get your pulse racing too. If you're in a committed relationship and it's going well, the next four weeks could be a time when you do decide to have a vacation or to spend some quality time together. But, do you know, it's very important within commitment to also retain our own individuality. And that may be something that you're grappling with as well. But there is two other major changes this week. The first is absolutely splendid for you because Mars, the power planet, moves out of quite a tender and sensitive part of your scope where it's been the last six weeks and into a truly brilliant one where it will be through to the middle of November, all but two weeks. This is your chance to really rejuvenate your passion for whatever gives you pleasure in your life. Now, it could be walking, it could be swimming, it could be cycling, it could be some kind of craft or hobby. It doesn't necessarily have to be of a physical variety. Or it could be something to do with performance or watching things that give you pleasure, like bands. Anything that in gives you a spark of pleasure is definitely going to become much more important to you over these next few months after what has been an intensely sensitive and emotional time for Libras and us people who have an ascended Libra. But Uranus also moves this week into the same area that that full moon, that new moon, I beg your pardon, is occurring in, your eighth house. And the two are going to be great and against one another, just like they have of late, but just across the different houses. This can be much more to do with jealousy and possessiveness and control. And if there is a relationship which stops you being the true person you wish to be, then it is going to come under the astral microscope. But just as easily, you could find yourself hugely attracted to someone over the next few weeks. And whether it would be a long-lasting relationship or not, it could still be an exciting experience for you. But for now, it's been a real pleasure being with you. I'd love it if you would like or comment on this video or subscribe to my channel if you've yet to do so. But for now, good luck and goodbye. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.patrickarundel.com or download my free app in iOS, Google or Facebook at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thanks and goodbye.